I'm so tired of shoveling and hurting my back, even with this ergonomic shovel, that I came up with this. A toggle extension. Now you can shovel standing up. Interested in making one of your very own? I'll show you how. I designed this so you could use it with gloves or mittens on. You can make the adjustment, slide it, it locks down. Move it here, locks down. Want to make it shorter or longer? That's where this little toggle comes in. Right there, I shortened it up a couple inches. So fully adjustable and customizable within seconds. And this works for all sorts of shovels rakes, all that kind of stuff. I'll show that in the spring when I start raking and shoveling outside. This build can be simpler. You need 51 inches to 54 inches of 500 pound paracord, a 10 inch piece of 90 pound paracord. The center punch is helpful. Some scissors, a little bit of fire scarecrow to melt the edges here, and then a drill to make the holes. This piece is four inch long, and I'm gonna put a hole at two inches and two and a half inches. And I've used the center punch to make little divots to help center the drill bit. I also have a wrench here to hold the pieces because holding it with your hands, past experience, not a good idea. And then a little piece of half inch PEX pipe. On these other two versions, I used some toggles that I had and I'll post down below where you can get some really great toggles. And those work, but I'm also gonna try just a piece of PEX pipe. I guess you could use some sort of button. And the reasoning behind that is, because most times when you're working with tools outside, you have gloves on, you wanna be able to hold it with this toggle. And then that helps you adjust. You can run this around here like this. It helps you make that smaller or bigger on the fly and then tighten it up. Try to manipulate this paracord when it's all cinched down nice and tight and you're pulling against it and you have been pulling against it. This little toggle thing that I've invented, you can see how quickly it works. Great with gloves. So this is a one inch piece of PEX pipe. I'm just using that as an example. It's a little colorful. Two 764 holes right there and right there. And the reason why is because I want something big enough to pass the 90 pound paracord through easily. Now what I've done is cut that off nice and sharp and then finished it with the heat, melted it down. And if you can, it's nice to either finish the edge by carefully, and you can do this with gloves on, pointing the paracord like you have right there and you'll see that I've also done that to the bigger piece of paracord right there. I've cut it at an angle like this and then finished it off with a little bit of heat. You can use your fingers, but it's really, really hot and will melt plastic on your fingers or you can use gloves, something like that and achieve the end result. Just something pointed, which will help you get through the holes. So I'm gonna do a starter hole on both of these and then I'll finish it off with a slightly bigger hole. I got a little piece of sacrifice wood. I've got a cardboard tray to collect all the little shavings. I'm actually gonna take and bring a little cap here. You could also use some tape, something to rest my hand on when I drill. Trying to drill a hole in the cylinder, not so easy. In fact, when I put the center punch on there, you could see that I kind of strayed off a little bit on the first couple times, but that center punch is really gonna help me get that hole right where it needs to go. So we're gonna have it in here, and I'm gonna first drill the one holes on one side. Right there. Make sure those are nice and straight. So this is probably the trickiest part of the whole build, and this is why you're gonna use starter holes for this, because once you got it centered, hopefully on both sides, then it's easy to expand that hole. Trying to make a bigger hole on a cylinder, pretty tough. So I'm just going to try to make that hole as straight down as possible. I'm gonna make sure my pipe is straight, because you only get one shot at this. Just line it up, make sure I'm nice and straight. One, same thing. Okay, now let's check the other side and see how we did. All right, <laughs> shockingly, that was probably some of the best through holes I've ever made. And you can kind of check your progress here by just carefully running the drill through, and then get a sense of how perpendicular, in other words, like this, or in this case, like this, like a cross, and then do the same thing for this hole. Line it up. Yeah. <laughs> really, I'm, a <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am about that. I'm gonna use a 964 because that's slightly thicker than the paracord, just by a little bit. You don't want 
a lot of room because what happens, and the reason why this is going around three times, usually I do two times, it was sliding. So the third wrap really makes a difference. Well, actually it's two over here and it's three over there. Two and a half there in that section. I use this technique on all sorts of builds. I'll post up there where I did skateboard training rig that you connect to a tree or whatever using a similar kind of technique on the handles on both sides. Now I'm just using a 964 inch bit and just expanding those holes out. This way, back and forth, or at a diagonal, and see how I just kind of made that hole oblong? Just a little bit to help with the throughput of the paracord so that you can get that friction going and the handle won't slip on you. Twisting it through, and you might get it curled and you just have to pull through it like that. Now there's two ways to do this toggle. You can do it now, which I'm going to do. Just slide it in here and then finish the wrap. So let's do that. Is I'm gonna actually slide the paracord in and hide the knot. Done this for all sorts of builds. Let's take something thin like these scissors. These are really good. And just kind of push it through to one side. And I guess you can use these as little tweezers. So a simple overhand knot is all you need to do. Like this, and then you minimize the amount and really set the knot in place. And then this allows you to do this. Boom! And you hide the knot inside of the pipe. Now if you're gonna go with a toggle, you would do kind of the same thing. You just take and run it through these two holes like that, and then just do a simple overhand knot, like I did on this one. And you just wanna put them in the flow of the paracord. This is the cord side that's going to go to the tool. And then this with the stopper knot is on the opposite side. So I've done a lot of engineering to simplify this design. So we're going to do the same kind of thing we did before. We're just going to push it through here, twist it, and get it onto the other side. If you have a pair of tweezers, this is really helpful. So you just kind of take the tweezers and feed it into the hole. And then twist it a little bit. Patience, it will go through. You see it's kind of poking itself out there. Just get enough of it. So you can either grab it with your fingers. That's it, that's all you need. And then just kind of straighten out the paracord a little bit. Boom. So I got one in black, and I got one in red, and I got one in black and red. So then just finish this off on the one side with a simple stopper knot. Now a stopper knot, for those who may not know, you just make two simple loops like that, and then just run it through the opposite side and tighten it down. Just leave a little bit of a tail. The tail is the cord peeking out of the knot. All right, so that's not too bad. It's a little easier to see the stopper knots on the one color cord, but that's what you're doing. And then you just cinch them down tight. I've tried different things, and I kind of prefer it a little longer. The center of the knot is right around four inches, and that allows you to go over any tool shaft that you can think of. So I'm gonna come around here like this, and just a simple overhead knot, and try to arrive at that four inch mark. And it's a little bit of trial and error, obviously. <laughs> That's not enough. So if I start with a seven inch length, so it's doubled over seven inches, push it through. How's that gonna do? Is that gonna get me right where I wanna go? Look at that! Center of the knot right at four inches. Pretty close. Once I tighten that down, I'll be right there and I wanna get a little less of a tail on there. So start with the loop down to about seven inches and the knot itself will consume a couple inches of the loop. If for some reason that's bothering you, in this case, you could just shove it right in there like that and it goes away. Now that I've got three of these things, let me show you how it goes on a tool. So the way I designed this is you can take it on and off easily with gloves. So all you do is go in here, you do loop around once, twice, and you can, and it's probably good to try to overlap there a little bit. You run this guy through like this, you cinch it down, and then boom, shalaboom, you've got that extra extension. This here is probably one of the thicker shafts. It's 1.37 or let's just do millimeters. Almost 34 millimeters. And if you're a tall person, maybe you want to make it 55 to 60 inches of paracord starting out. I'm really yanking on this and it's not going anywhere. Watch the magic. And I'm going to do it with the gloves on. Just slide, lock down, and you're back to it either way 
and the great thing about it is you have multiple angles on which you can hold this tool. The handle here and then just pivot and it's amazing you, you can just adjust the tool on just <laughs> almost for an infinity angles and it really works great. And then if you want it a little longer you just take this guy here pull the stopper knot all the way to the end race this around and loosen it up on what I'm calling the handle which is the PVC pipe pull it down like that and you've got it longer. The wind's kicking up we're not going to let it deter us we're going to give these guys a full real world test to see how they do. Are they going to improve your shoveling and keep your back safer? Here we go, let's get some here we go, let's get some solid footage of shoveling and using the toggle grip. The spring action in that blue shovel is right here with this paracord. Here's the erg shovel. I've made it super erg. You can see I can almost stand up, grab the snow, and pitch it. It's just that easy. No more bending over. Less of a back issue. I wish I would have thought of this long ago. Thumbs up and comments always appreciate. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in home improvements, evaluation of sports gear, electronics, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know. what you're gonna see.